Hello guys, so I'm gonna be filling in my pastry now. So the minced veggies all cool down. It's not good to fill in your uh, your pastry when your fillings are still hot. So this is all cool down now. So we're gonna be filling in this vegetable. So if you watch how I made this, the only thing here that wasn't suitable for a vegetarian was a beef stock I used. So so you can use vegetable stock or any other stock that is suitable for you. I'm gonna be using this vegetarian um gel so it's vegetable gel you know, some people don't like taking the, the other gelatin so this is alternative for gelatin so this is how if you go to the shop to get it this is just how it is if you ever want anything for gelatin um alternative this is it so i just thought i should try it to see how if it's gonna work for me as a glaze i'm gonna be adding cheese to some of the pie so if you're a vegetarian you just need to get a vegetarian cheese and this is also very low in fat like 50 percent less fat and i've got flour that's just a dust so and i have my rolling pin to roll the pie so that's my pastry guys so i just brought it out of the fridge you see how the pastry is cotton see so if you want to know a pastry that's got gluten, when you cut it, it's stretchy. All the stables are all clean and all sanitized. So save and go to, to use. So you just cut the size you want and you, you roll it. See, if it's got gluten, when you roll it, it stretches itself back. Um... So I'm going to be using this pastry presser to press it. So it's, in a, it's a shape of a, of a pie. So you can also, let's say you don't have this, you can just look for a round ball that is, that is not too big and to cut it. So I want to start by whitewashing with the vegan gel. And then you press. You try not to put too much so it doesn't start leaking. Or if you want to put more, you just have to make your pastry a bit um, thick, not too thin, so that it doesn't burst while you're baking it. So that's it. So now I'm going to place it on the pan and then continue to do more. So I'm just going to do one line. So that's it. I'm, I'm done with one line and all this is just strictly no cheese. So it's just the vegetable filling and um, the veg gel was what I used to stick it together. And then I'm also going to be using that to do the glazing. Because if, if I don't get to find and make this alternative, I'll, I'll just have to put it bake the pie like that and it comes out pale that will not be nice and then I'll wash now with the veggie gel and so I'm gonna have to put a hole in them so because this has no cheese in it so we're gonna do like a V line like this So this veggie gel wash I'm using is not only for vegetarians. Some people are allergic to egg. So in the case you want to bake a pie for someone who is allergic to egg or you want to bake a cake for a lot of people so you don't want to start asking, are you allergic to anything? Just do something simple like this. So I just pray though the wash comes out with a very nice glaze. If not as good as the egg wash. So I'm going to put this aside and then do the other line with the cheese on it. Quick. So 
So that's it. You see, there's a that's it. That's the vegetable and the cheese in there. And then you just close it and pin it. So this is just like the regular cheese. And it's 15 percent less fat. So I'm done with the vegetable and cheese now. So I'm going to be egg washing it. So we're just going to see the difference. So now I'm going to be using the other end of the toothpick. It's more like a C indicating cheese. We're going to pop this in the oven and bake it for about 10 minutes or even less because I'm baking on 200 degree. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, everyone, it's all baked now. It, now, so that's the one with the egg wash and that has cheese in it. And this is the one with the veg gel that has no cheese in it. So I just cut it so I could show you inside. So... That's the one with the cheese. So you know the cheese is low in fat, so it's just fifty percent less fat. So it's not like really stretchy like regular cheese. You know. And that's the one with our cheese inside. So it's just mixed veg and it's coated with um veggie gel. Oh my god, this is so nice. When you make this with your vegetarian friends, they're gonna like talk about it till you make another one. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, share my videos to your vegan friends, share my videos to everyone you know so they could watch, like, and subscribe as well. Thanks a lot. Have a blessed day. Bye. Bye bye.